Lauren, tell us about the day that they contact you about joining the Hall of Fame. Rick Rosen called me and said, we would like you to, we would like to induct you into the Hall of Fame. I was like, what? And it's just a tremendous honor to uh, be recognized as somebody who contributed something to change the shape of television. When you were growing up, who were some of your TV heroes and favorites that might even already be in the Hall of Fame? Well, um, my favorites were, I had, I, I grew up uh, in the 50s, and so my heroes were very eclectic. I loved Hopalong Cassidy Beyond Belief, and uh, you'll hear about that in my speech tonight. I would dress up for him because I thought TV could see me, and I loved Queen for a Day, and I loved the Hoffa trials. I just had such an eclectic interest. Um, and I liked corny stuff too. But I wasn't I wasn't uh, dedicated to standard kid thing. And for me creating television for kids in the eighties when parents were going to, mothers were going to work and kids were being left at home and they were being hurried to grow up. They needed somebody to think about them as kids and what was so great about kids. And that's what we did. Kids were the boss. We were, I was the oldest one and I was in my early 30s and everybody else was in their 20s and we just made it up as we went along and we we would study what other people did and go with the exact opposite direction and now your plaque's going to be here forever at the at the tv academy fantastic thank you so much thank you